Taylor Swift walked the red carpet in a custom sparkling white gown at the Crypto.com Arena in Los Angeles on Sunday during the 2024 Grammy Awards, and there's no doubt the star made the place go viral. Should be sparkling, making a grand appearance right before the award ceremony, Swift stunned in a sparkling green Gucci gown, her wavy hair cascading down her shoulders, she'll be sitting with her friends at the Grammys, Lana Del Rey and Jack Antonoff. Taylor Swift's name was on everyone's lips as glittering musical acts descended on Los Angeles for the Grammy Awards on Sunday, but with one of the more eclectic fields of nominations in recent memory. Here, these prestigious awards are anyone's game. Can Taylor Swift make history? Women make up the majority of the nominees for the Best Album and Best Recording Awards, with only one man, jazz artist John Batiste, in the running. The genre-bending SZA has the best chance of winning Grammy Gold with nine spots, with Billie Eilish, the genius boy band Supergroup, and, of course, Swift all in stiff competition for the big prizes. Olivia Rodrigo, Miley Cyrus, Janelle Monet, and Lana Del Rey were also on hand to take home trophies, Swift's. Album of the Year win would be her fourth win, the most for any artist, a new record that would break the tie she currently has with Frank Sinatra, Paul Simon and Stevie Wonder, that would be the cherry on top for the 34-year-old. Who is already famous in the music world, she's making headlines with every breath, especially for her romance with NFL star Travis Kelsey, who couldn't attend the ceremony because he'll be busy preparing for next weekend's Super Bowl. October 12, 2023, Swift showed up to her third Chiefs game, one day after premiering the Era's Tour movie. The Cruel Summer singer returned to the Arrowhead Stadium to cheer on Kelsey as his team took on the Denver Broncos. In a video shared by People, Swift was seen wearing a Chiefs branded jacket for the game, where she caught up with Kelsey's parents in the family suite. She was also seen speaking with Brittany Mahomes, the wife of Kelsey's teammate and close friend, Patrick Mahomes. Photos published by Mail Online showed what appeared to be Swift's security team outside Kelsey's home until Friday afternoon, suggesting that the pop star had stayed the night. Kelsey's mother later discussed the whirlwind caused by Swift's game day appearances. I thought it would be over at that point, but it seems to just continue, and every week just seems to trump the week before, Donna said during an episode of the Got It From My Mama podcast. So it's really kind of wild, a wild ride. Swift and Kelsey were photographed holding hands after enjoying a date night in New York City. The outing marked the first time the two have been photographed by paparazzi in public together, and many took it as confirmation of their relationship. Their first public display of affection came after the pair dined at celebrity hotspot Nobu, per photos and video obtained by TMZ and Page Six. Swift and Kelsey later went to Rockefeller Center, where they made separate surprise appearances on NBC's Saturday Night Live. They finished the night at the show's after-party, pictures from Getty Images showed. Swift and Kelsey were photographed by paparazzi after spending Sunday night at Waverly Inn. Swift has dined at the West Village hot spot before, most notably in 2016 with Cara Delevingne, Lord, and Jack Antonoff. Just a few days before the release of 1989, Taylor's version, Swift was on hand to support the Kansas City Chiefs as they took on the Los Angeles Chargers. She was filmed cheering for Kelsey, looking concerned when he fell, and performing an elaborate handshake with Brittany Mahomes. Swift and Kelsey were also photographed together at a post-game party, alongside Kelsey's teammate Mechel Hardman Jr. and his girlfriend Shariah Gordon. Gordon shared a series of photos on Instagram, including one of Swift kissing Kelsey on the cheek. After the Chiefs beat the Chargers, Jason opened up to NBC Sports about his brother's new relationship and the frenzy it has caused. It's certainly been weird, the level that it is now, he told NBC Sports on Sunday night. On one hand, I'm happy for my brother that he seems to be in a relationship that he's excited about. That he is genuine about. But there's another end of it where it's like, man, this is a lot. This is another level of stardom that typically football players don't deal with, he added. In an interview with People, Ed Kelsey described Swift as a very, very sweet, very charming, down-to-earth young woman. 
The athlete's father also praised her first impression as very genuine, presumably referring to the Chiefs game on October 12th, when Swift and Ed were seen chatting in the stands. I'll tell you something very special that I noticed about Taylor the first time I met her, Ed shared. We're sitting in the suite, she gets up and in the front room, she gets up to go get a drink or something and she starts picking up empty bottles. Cans, plates that are scattered around. Because in the suites everybody gets stuff and you empty it down wherever you can. And I'm just thinking, I don't think she got the diva memo. She didn't get the spoiled musician, he continued. She doesn't know how to pull that off. And that really to me said a whole lot. At a press conference in Frankfurt, Germany, where the Kansas City Chiefs would soon play the Miami Dolphins, Kelsey fielded a direct question about his feelings for Swift. A video of the exchange shows that Kelsey was grinning as he replied. During a recent episode of his podcast, Kelsey also said it was cool to see people dress up as him and Swift for Halloween, though his brother thought it was pretty creepy. Swift and Kelsey were spotted at a restaurant in the Argentine capital after Swift postponed her second scheduled show in Buenos Aires due to truly chaotic weather in the city, she wrote in a post on X, formerly Twitter. According to People, the couple appeared to be joined by Swift's dad, Scott Swift, as they dined in a private room at Elena Restaurant at the Four Seasons Hotel Buenos Aires. Swift made a small but significant change to Karma during her second show in Buenos Aires as Kelsey watched from the VIP tent. Alongside the pop star's father, Scott Swift. Karma is the guy on the Chiefs, coming straight home to me, Swift sang with a giggle, per multiple videos captured by fans at the Estadio River Plate concert. TikTok user at Flormaso caught Kelsey's reaction to the moment the crowd erupted into cheers. The two-time Super Bowl champ covered a huge grin with his hands while Scott patted him on the shoulder. Kelsey later said he had a little bit of a clue that Swift was preparing something special for the show, but once he heard the lyric change, it still shocked me. I was like, oh, she really just said that, he said on his podcast. When her second concert in Buenos Aires ended, Swift left the stage and ran into Kelsey's arms as he waited for her by an exit. The couple shared their first public kiss as fans cheered. In a cover story for Wall Street Journal Magazine, the NFL player said he was a Swifty before he began dating the pop star. He praised her songwriting, especially her song, Blank Space, and even described Swift as a genius. I've never been a man of words, Kelsey said. Being around her, seeing how smart Taylor is, has been fucking mind-blowing. I'm learning every day. He also said he's been hesitant to discuss their relationship in public because he doesn't want to spook her. That was the biggest thing to me, make sure I don't say anything that would push Taylor away, he said. Obviously I've never dated anyone with that kind of aura about them. I've never dealt with it, Kelsey added. But at the same time, I'm not running away from any of it. Once again, Swift was photographed cheering for Kelsey in a private suite with Brittany Mahomes. Unfortunately, the team lost to the Green Bay Packers 27-19. They're both really hard workers, and he acknowledges her art is hers, and he has what's his, an anonymous source told People. He understands the territory their relationship comes with and like he said, isn't letting any of the hoopla impact how they're growing together. Swift opened up about Kelsey in a cover story for Time magazine, which named her Person of the Year for 2023. She said she enjoys attending NFL games to support Travis and praised him for openly courting her on his podcast. Although Swift has a complicated history with dating in the public eye, and has kept previous relationships extremely private, she said there's nothing to hide when it comes to Kelsey. When you say a relationship is public, that means I'm going to see him do what he loves, we're showing up for each other, other people are there and we don't care, Swift told Time. The opposite of that is you have to go to an extreme amount of effort to make sure no one knows that you're seeing someone. And we're just proud of each other. During a Chiefs press conference, Kelsey fielded questions about navigating his relationship amid his growing fame. 